Good m morning, YouTube. Uh, this is uh, Teresa at uh, Carlwood Acres. Uh, today, I am going to make some chocolate-covered peanut clusters for this weekend. Um, you're going to need a jar of unsalted roasted peanuts, two bags of semi-sweet chocolate chips, it doesn't matter whether they're mini minis or regular, and peanut butter. Okay. And I do this in the clock pot. The whole jar goes in, and uh, I make this several different ways, and I find that the unsalted, dry, roasted peanuts work the best, and the, uh, as well as the semi-sweet chocolate chips. I tried all the different types of chocolate chips, and. Where is the best? A lot of chocolate, but um, it takes some. Um, it takes that much to make these. Okay, we'll plug it in. Turn it on high for, for until the chocolate is melted. And when the chocolate is melty, melted, I'll come back and add about a quarter cup of peanut butter. So, uh, it, sometimes more, sometimes less. I think about a quarter of a cup is the most you can go on this. Mm -hmm. uh, I usually do one of these uh, spoons full of peanut butter and that usually does it. Okay. Get my lid. Okay, I'm going to let that sit until it melts, and when it melts, I'll, turn, uh, I'll meet you back here and tell you what the next step, show you the next step, and I'll see you in a little bit. Stop it. Hello, oh, I'm back. Um, now it's time to put the peanut, <coughs> peanut butter in the chocolate and peanuts. Uh, do a quarter of a cup.
have gotten so many reviews, good reviews on these that uh, our dinner that we're preparing for Monday night uh, with the group. Uh, somebody has requested me to make these. I've got to label them though that they have uh, peanut butter in them. Some people have nut allergies. It's in that group. Be ready to start dipping them into clusters. Okay, I'll be back in about an hour. We're start. We're ready to uh, make the clusters now. Uh, start it up again. I got a small spoon. Usually try to put a small amount, three or four clusters in a bite. It's perfect for the bite size clusters. This game will take forever. Okay, you keep, keep going through like that. I line, I line this with uh, parchment paper because that's all I had. You can line it with, you can leave it alone, or you can line it with uh, uh, wax paper too. It's, these are a little messy, so uh, it makes uh, um, clean up easy. Okay, um, I'm, I'm going to get these all uh, set out here and I'll be back when, I re when I'm ready to put the first tray in the freezer. Be back in a little bit. And this is, this is what I've got. They're ready uh, one by one to go into the freezer. And I do those just like okay, let's go up to Okay, now we got these, one by one they'll go in there just like that. I'll wait about uh, 30 minutes to an hour and bring them out and put them in a Ziploc bag. And when the ne next batch is ready to go in, I will be back and show you what the 
end product is like. Be back in a little bit. Back. We are going to pull these out. There's the end results of those. And I'm going to put another tray in. Okay. There's, there they are. And you can make these any size you want. Okay. Enter. What? Here. Here. What do you think? Huh? Mm -hmm. Like it? <laughs> but, uh, that's that's what they. That's how you make these. Okay, until uh, next video, I will see you then. Bye.